I caught somebody red-handed as they were using an aimbot in MechWarrior Online and to be honest it left me somewhat shocked. Now guys, MechWarrior Online is a fairly small community so you'd think nobody would be interested in developing cheats for the game and even fewer people would be interested in actually buying them. You'd think, but it seems we were wrong. Not too long ago, a streamer was actually banned by PGI for using an aimbot. Yeah, that one went through the news in the game. And now, I've personally come across a situation where this is pretty much the only explanation that I can give for what I saw in the game. And I'm gonna show you guys what happened exactly. Now, quick words beforehand. Unlike other more frequently cheater infested games, like for example Escape from Tarkov, which I have played for thousands of hours, there is no spectator mode, there is no first person spectator, there is no replay mode, so it's really hard to actually um, find out whether somebody was actually cheating or just lucky or just really really good, but there are ways of doing that. Make Warrior Online on the other side offers a first person spectator mode, so that mode as you all know it's not perfect, the aim between what you see on screen and what the player sees on their screen as they're playing, that can be a little bit off, but it allows for some pretty accurate idea of how the other person is playing and what they're aiming at. And hey, if you get lucky, if you happen to be spectating a person at the right time, well, you might see something that they don't want you to see. And if you're a cheater and you're super unlucky, that person is a content creator and gets it all on video. So here we are. A quick word of caution, because I don't want people to go into a crazed fit about cheaters and see cheaters behind every tree and every little urban mech. Not everybody that kills you is cheating. Not everyone that headshots your mech is cheating. The simplest explanation is they either got skill or they got lucky. That's generally the right one in Mac Warrior Online, and you, it's up to you to pick which one of them. Please refrain from accusations to your fellow players, unless you got something to back it up with. And if you feel that somebody is truly cheating, then go ahead and contact PGI customer support, and then they will look into it. Furthermore, I'm going to blur the name of the player in question. Not because I don't want you guys to know the name, I mean the guys of you that watch the stream live already know it, but I don't want to turn this into a witch hunt. Um, I'm 95% sure that what we're seeing here is an aimbot in action, and I will give you the reasons why I think that's an aimbot. But uh, there's just still a small part of me that could be wrong here, so let's not start a witch hunt, whether justified or not. PGI is already informed, and they will take the appropriate steps, uh, what they deem to be the appropriate action so here we are now in the match in question i'm gonna play it for you full speed and uh, you'll notice uh, at some point i get a little bit suspicious and then we'll go through that clip a little bit more slowly and finally almost frame by frame so you can see exactly what is happening here we go target destroyed not a nova new target acquired what's that yeah the viper is insane I shot him with so many salvos and he just didn't take any damage. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Interesting aim, bro. At this point, I saw some things that made me a little bit suspicious because it looked very, very weird. But here is where it gets really crazy. Um. Alright, guys. Here you're gonna see the first idea that I had that this is uh, something weird going on right here. You will see the Viper jump back and now I want you to focus on where the player is actually tracking, right? Right now he's not on target, right? Right now everything's fine. I'm gonna lower the speed a little bit so you guys can see exactly what's happening. This is picture by picture. Look at where it's, what's happening. He's perfectly tracking with the mouse, with the aim point of the mouse, which is a small circle. I was tracking the CT, now it's switching over to the side torso. Then it's switching over to the other side torso. Now it's locked on the arm. Now it's gonna track the arm. Look how perfect that tracking is. This is very weird. And now again, switching over to different components. And tracking again. And look how look how quick this is. And, and then again, this weird is moving over to different components and aiming at it. Very, very strange. Let's go to situation number two. By the way, that is now locked on the S. Do you see how this thing lagged? You see how the Viper lagged? And how <laughs> it lost his lock for a second? Interesting, right? 
Could have been lag. Could have been lag. Like I said, not 100% sure, 95%. Now we're back to tracking. And once again, look where the tracking is. He pressed the button again, apparently, and it was locked on the leg. Now it's tracking again. <laughs> This looks like somebody is cycling through components with a button, right? Okay, moving on. Let's go to the more interesting part, which is going to be when the king crab comes into the play. All right, here we have the king crab. Watch what the aim does. You see how it perfectly jumps between components? It's like somebody can't decide which component to shoot right now. Once again, look how it tracks. Look how it jumps between components. Locked, then completely jumps over, jumps over again. His lasers are ready the whole time, he's not shooting. He's just trying to select components. Now he's locked on the side torso of the king crab again. And watch, he's gonna lose lock for a second. And then it's gonna snap again, all of a sudden. Snap, and snap. There's no reason to have for him to aim down like this, and then snap, and snap. Guys, I mean, in my opinion, this is pretty damning. In my opinion, this is pretty damning. This, this is not human movement in aiming. The, the fact that he's not shooting at all is also weird. It's still tracking, but he's still tracking on the Viper. At some point, he's gonna then gonna lose his lock, and that's either him going directly without aimbot on the king crab, or it's gonna be uh, okay. It's still locked again, locked again. Still trying to lock onto the viper. And now comes the king crab. And this could be normal aim, doesn't have to be, could be. But this one's a little bit wobbly. This one's a little bit wobbly, and I'm not sh on this one. I'm not sure. This could be normal aim, uh, maybe not, because it's it's still doing this weird, perfect movement, right? But like I said, the part where the aim just switches between components, this right here, to me, is the damning part. This is just this is just too good to be true. It's always on target, and it jumps right towards components, with little bits in between. Snap, 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 snap over to the next leg, snap to the next leg. Yeah, guys. What can I say? You've seen the evidence? You tell me. Is this legit? And like I said, guys, thankfully, McWarrana is a small game, so please don't go looking for cheaters behind every single tree now, right? Uh, thankfully, there are not a lot of them. Um, I'm also happy to report that this guy... Aside that of the godlike aiming and tracking that he has, did actually do not even break 300 damage the whole match. So you got the nice combination here of somebody who has no clue how to play the game, but has godlike aim on all the components. Yet another bit of evidence for you. Do you think it's a cheater? Do you think that guy is legit? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much, supporters. Couldn't do it without you. If you want to join Team TTB, check out the join button right here on YouTube. Super thanks button in the comment section, or of course the links to Patreon, or the merch store listed in the video description.